So, you run a band, and at the moment you're using big, ugly, bulky monitor wedges on stage. They take up loads of room in the van. They're heavy. You don't really want to be lugging them about. And, uh, and all they do is add more volume to your stage sound. Um, so um, it's not a pleasant place to be on stage when you've got a load of musicians playing loudly and then you've uh, and, and they're also being amplified and then you've got a load of uh, monitor speakers blasting out so um, I had this problem I, I suffer from tinnitus and um, and I said to myself I'm going to build myself an in-ear monitoring system so uh, I can completely do without using uh, monitor wedges and here we have it and so uh, I'll just uh, go through exactly what we have here first thing the racks the racks were purchased from Amazon it's a 6U shallow rack I think they're about 80 pounds each okay and in this particular rack we have the Soundcraft UI24 digital mixer um, I've added a few bits and pieces to this. Uh, the first thing you'll see up here is a, uh, an external 5 gigahertz router. And even though the 5 gigahertz router that's internal in the UI24 works absolutely flawlessly, I think I should uh, point out that if that goes down, you're going to be in a heap of trouble because uh, the only way to control this this uh, this mixer is is with a uh, smartphone, a tablet, or a laptop, and it relies on Wi-Fi. So um, without Wi-Fi, you're stuffed. So uh, I figured I would, I would buy an external router uh, as a backup. I then purchased some uh, some cables to allow me to um, well to first of all allow me to permanently mount them to the front here these are actually my auxiliary outputs and uh, it allows me to attach my x5 transmitter to the top so once i've obviously taken the the front of the case off i can then just pop these on okay and uh, i didn't like the idea of sticking it straight into the front because uh, you know if anybody were to catch that with a cable or walk past it and snap it um, it's going to cause damage to this and also to the mixer so by mounting it vertically there's, a, there's less chance of anything catastrophic happening and um, so the x5 system works on 2.4 gigahertz and as i said earlier the uh, the wi-fi is set to 5 gigahertz so there's no chance of any interference between uh, between the two pieces of equipment um, I added uh, two of the SanDisk low profile USB sticks okay again they, they they're permanent they just stay in the slot there I don't have to keep removing them every time I want to put the, uh, the front of the case on both are 64 gigabytes and uh, the top one allows me to uh, just to play music uh, and the bottom slot there as you can see is records you can actually multi-track record straight to that little usb stick uh, i haven't had any problems with that at all it works brilliantly okay um let's move around the back so we can we can have a little look i purchased this um power distribution strip again from Amazon I think this is about 30 quid it does have uh, surge protection on there and um, underneath it we have a, uh, a 5 volt USB power bank and I added that so I could uh, keep my iPad charged up and also my X5 transmitter and receiver because they rely on uh, uh, USB charging okay as you can see there 
Um, nice little unit, that. Um, what else? Oh, here we go. We got the an unlatched boss pedal. Use this to turn the effects on and off between songs, okay? Um, you don't need a latched one. The unlatched one will work fine, okay? And then you just uh, you simply then just use a, a cable that uh, plugs in the, uh, in the side of the unit there to attach the two together. Okay, that is about it for the mixer, for the main mixer. Um, what I wanted to do was um, was build a, uh, a a microphone splitter to allow me to um, to turn up to let's say a festival or uh, you know a, a bigger gig where there's already a PA system supplied. And what this allows me to do is um, basically split the signal, so I, I can plug in my my microphones so I can I can mic up the guitars and the bass and uh, vocals and the, and the drum kit and then uh, that signal is split between sending it out into here in, into the, the mixer and then this one goes to the stage box okay so I think that's about 10 meters of, uh, of multi-core and I think this one here is about uh, two meters two meters of, so these were as cheap as chips I bought these from uh, eBay and I think um, they were nothing I think it's about 13 quid for an eight-way uh, two meter it's either two meter or three meter I can't remember now but uh, but they work fine you haven't got to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds and even the 10 meter, I think the 10 meter was like 20 quid. So I got two of those. Okay. Um, and at the moment it's, uh, it's only um, operating uh, 16 channels. Uh, the unit can, I can, I can use another four. I do have another one of these uh, Behringer um, MS 8000s. I'm going to stick it in this slot here and that's going to give me another four channels that I can uh, I can use there so um, that's really it really um, I just thought uh, for those of you who are looking for a cost effective solution to uh, to an in-ear monitoring system this is definitely it and um, you haven't got to break the bank I mean these were like pff, about 80 quid from Toman 80 pounds each uh, not a lot of money really, um, but um, at the end of the day, I think that in-ear monitoring is most definitely the way forward. If you do it properly, it works really, really well.